up, you guys? I'm your boy Jaquan, back to another unboxing. Yo, we picked up the Zelda Legend of Zelda wired controller plus. I don't know what the plus is for because it's not wireless, but shout out to Nintendo for not making wireless controllers for $40 or less because this is ridiculous. You have to buy the wired controller because the wireless one is $70. But hey, that don't matter though. We got this one for only $30 or less. I think I got it for $23 actually. It was on sale at Target, but yo, y'all should get it. It was like 26 with taxes. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna get into the unboxing. I had to pull off all the sticker. They put tape on all sides, but it's cool. Oh, when you open it, first thing you get is this USB. Oh, I thought this was gonna be USB-C. I could have sworn it said USB-C. Maybe that's for a different one, I don't know, but it's just this like micro USB, like the PS4 style charger cord, which is cool. This wire feels, all right, it feels okay. So let's get to the controller, nothing too special. Oh, they got a they got an actual cool unboxing. There's nothing else in there but a little manual. But we don't read manuals. So um this is cool. It's got the controller grips. So yeah, I know it was dope. Yo, it's actually this is super clean. Look at the detail. That cost $30. I know for only $30. Bro, the feel of it is so nice. Cop ooh, Jalen, feel this right quick. That is so nice. Bro, I might have to pick up the. They had this also. They had the what? red one, the Super Mario Bros. And they had another new Super Mario Bros. with a star on the top right here. And they had like lines going down. I might have to pick up the whole collection because this is Bro. super nice. I thought this was going to be like real cheap compared to the Pro. The buttons kind of feel cheap compared to like a yeah. PS4 button. $30 like a, worth. Yeah, but for $30, the controller, yeah. actual, the feel when you're holding it, because I got huge hands, it feels really, really good. I like that. So Bro, that looks clean. When you playing on like a regular Joy-Con, yeah. if you try the Joy-Cons, this is a big difference. The size difference is is super big. Like, come on now. Can't be beat. Can't beat that. Yeah, and also the little Joy-Con things. I mean, yeah, control sticks, you just not Joy-Con. But you just pull them out and it comes with some extra ones in this packaging. So you can change the like the lock sticks so this one's more rounded this is more like cupped in so your finger sticks in but i like to always mix it up i put one round in one cup so you just get that feeling like i always put the cup on like if i'm turning like in a shooter game you're turning your head because it just grips better and this if you're running so yeah it's cool so we're back at my tv and i'm gonna show you guys that it's working clean look at that boom it feels so good because i'm used to just using joy cons only you can use the d-pad so let's say we go to single player, see how it clicks perfectly. They got a home button right here, the snap screen button right here, minus and, uh, what's it? Oh, that's the plus and minus buttons. So if you press the home button, we're so clean. And then when you go to controllers, you can actually see the controller right here, register. So I think that's pretty cool. Why my joint cards are charging? Cause mines are always going dead. My red one, especially. But it's cool though. Guy finally got a wired wired one. Was like I don't know. I was kind of like scared of this one because I feel like it was gonna be super cheap. It's real light though. I wish it kind of had a little bit more weight to it, like a PS4 controller. But you know, I mean, lighter the better, I guess. And uh, I'm probably gonna pick up some more of these. And I'm probably gonna do another boxing of the Mario Bros or the new one that's got the star on it. So yeah, I'm your boy Jaquan. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. More videos on the way. Thank you for watching. All right, peace.